All right, so today we're gonna make a super simple dessert, kind of like a tapioca pudding, only it's a chia seed pudding. So we're gonna take, we're gonna use, um, I'm using almond milk, you could use rice milk, you could use coconut milk, because we're gonna mix it with some canned coconut milk. So um, I'm taking a half a cup of almond milk, because you don't have to cook it, you're literally just gonna mix it and put it in your fridge. And then I've got the coconut milk. You could do a full cup of the coconut milk if you want. It just has lots of fat and calories, so this is a good way to keep it light. The light coconut milk. So we're going to add a half a cup of that. And then I have, this is the vanilla that I have. It's And it's uh, more of a concentrate. So the recipe calls for one teaspoon, and I'm just going to add a half a teaspoon. So we'll say that's about half, but you can measure it. Um, so half a teaspoon of vanilla. And then we're going to add in our chia seeds. And it's a quarter cup chia seeds, and they kind of just look like little pebbles. You can find them at most stores. Um, at, I found them at Winco, which that's the store that's closest to me, and they were in the bulk section, kind of by the spices, but you might have to ask um, around and see where they're at. And then you want to add a little sweetener. I'm using, um, let's see, I have this. That's, this is a newer sweetener that's all natural. Um, and then there's these stevia drops. I think I'm going to actually use these stevia drops. Um, and put those in. All right, I added about three drops, and I'm just going to mix it. And you can kind of see it start starting to kind of thicken. Now, you could add any fruit you want to this. You could have it without fruit. Um, you could add banana, apple. I happen to have mandarin oranges. Um, now, be, keep in mind, if you're doing citrus, it might curdle a little bit. It shouldn't be too bad because you're not using milk with whey in it. Um, but, again, it might kind of curdle a little bit just from the citrus. All right, we got it all mixed up. I'm going to set it in the fridge. And it takes about an hour or two to kind of set up. And then it's ready to serve. Your kids, your kids will love it. And chia seeds are really good for you. They have uh, more omega-3s than salmon. So uh, play around with that and uh, enjoy.